Hello, it's Arit here. Welcome to another video on the Estatino Artist channel. Today I'm going to answer a question that I get a lot with the Zoom software, the video conferencing software, and that is what is the difference between your personal meeting ID versus one that's generated automatically? And you might have seen this when you're going to schedule a new meeting. So I'll just click on here, schedule a new meeting. And if I'm scrolling down at the bottom here, it's asking you, do you want to generate, uh, automatically generate a new ID or use your personal meeting ID? So what is the difference? Personal meeting ID is kind of like your virtual meeting room. It's like a permanent virtual office space for you that you can always use whenever you want. And typically it's something that would only be used, I'd only use it for instant meetings. Like if I want to get on a call with someone right now, we'll just jump into that personal meeting ID or that meeting room and, um, and have our call. Because you don't want to, um, you know, if I'm scheduling a new meeting uh, or especially for a reoccurring meeting, I'll always do generate automatically, which means it's going to generate a new meeting ID room each time. So the reason for that is because if you were to give out, you don't want to give out your personal meeting ID. It's kind of like giving people the keys to your office so they could come and go whenever they want. Uh, it's probably not a best uh, thing. So your meeting ID is really um, a specific link or a specific place where you will have a meeting. So your personal meeting ID is very much your own virtual office space. It's a permanent ID, so you don't want to be sharing it around too much. The generate automatically ID is that a unique ID or room, virtual room, will be generated for that specific scheduled meeting. And something to keep in mind too, if you are uh, planning a reoccurring meeting, so you're scheduling a reoccurring meeting, which by the way, if you come down to here underneath time zone, you would check this box to say reoccurring meeting, you'd set how often it occurs, right? So if it's once a week, every Wednesday, let's just say, so you'll go weekly, repeat once a week, every Wednesday, and then you can set how many times it would repeat for, or you can set a specific date when it would end. So if you are doing a reoccurring meeting, what it's going to do is it's going to generate, automatically generate an ID. You can see the option here has kind of disappeared, whether to choose generate automatically or personal ID. So it's disappeared for a reason, it's because it's because it's reoccurring, it's, it's going to uh, give you a new meeting room ID but that ID is going to stay the same for every single meeting week to week, every Wednesday, so that your attendees know that that's kind of the meeting room that's assigned for this specific weekly occurrence. So guys, that's just a quick one for you. I hope that's clarified the difference between a personal meeting ID versus one that you would generate automatically and a few situations where you would use each one of those things. If you have any more questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. And if this was helpful, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more good stuff coming your way. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.